video. We are in North Queensland, about to hit this river crossing. We've had such a nice few days just not filming, hanging out with our friends, but we're ready to get cracking. This is the start of the road north to the Cape. I mean, it'll still be a little while before we actually get there, but we'll get there when we get there. We're in absolutely no hurry. We have two months before we have to be back down in Cairns. Unreal. And I must say, it's a little bit chilly at the moment, so we need to head north. I'm not used to this pants situation. So anyway, river crossing this morning. I'm just looking at this. Look at these bugs. <laughs> This car is filth at the moment. Hopefully this will give it a little give it a little bit of a clean off. Today I'm the cameraman. And you know what? It wasn't Lil's fault that the tire blew. I let you drive for <laughs> I let you drive for Oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, no, it's not your fault. That's really bad. It's really bad. Oh it's really bad. Oh no. Oh. That was mine. I probably cut the sidewall or something at one point and yeah, it was my fault. What a way to start off a video with Lil doing a river crossing. Not that it's much of a river crossing, but you got to build these things up, don't you? Look at this tire on the back. It's like it's like a trophy of shame. <laughs> the most wild thing that's happened. It's raining on the windscreen. set ourselves up like this. Gonna get our little fire pit out. So look at the grass here. Just a beautiful place to not wear shoes. Look at this thing though. This is what's exciting me. And if you're a, a long time viewer of the channel, you know that I love tractors. <laughs> look at this bad boy. That'd start right up, I bet. I think it's a combine harvester anyway. Don't hold me to that. I'm not a farmer. I'm an idiot. <sighs> So I know we said before that we were super excited that it was raining. I've had enough now. I've got the awning out in the car and the awning here. Lola, get out of the rain. It's a bit of a downer now. Lou has just hung all the washing out on Ruth's caravan. Oh, people going mountain biking here. There goes Lance. It's one of those days where there's nothing to do but just chill out, have a good time. It's nice to get the car awning out actually. It's the first time we've used it since Xmouth. We'd use it a lot more if it had arms, like if it was a freestanding. But because it's got these legs here, 
It's just heaps harder to set up, so we just don't use it. Might have to get another one. Tonight, we're gonna cook a curry over the fire. These are our favorite things. You get them from Coles. The spice tailor. This. Sorry for the mess, guys, but Lily hasn't cleaned up. Oh. So now I've got to choose which one of these bad boys to have tonight. Classic butter chicken is usually my favorite. But hey babe, can you mix curries together? I don't think we should mix curries. I reckon it'll be more than enough. It, but they're only serves two and we're making them for four. I reckon it'll be okay. You know what? We can do whatever we want. Hey, there's no rules. <laughs> so what? Do you know what guys? Remember that, there's no rules. And if it was four wheel drive 24 seven, we'd probably just put beer in it. But that's not us, we might be. Okay, so we chuck the coals on the top, and if this isn't too hot, I'll give you a peek inside. Oh, it's hot. Oh, I can't do that. Ow. So, what we're looking at in there is potatoes, chicken, and both the spice the spice Taylor mixes. So, the tikka masala and the butter chicken. Chuck that bad boy back on there. This isn't a cooking channel, but it could be. Watch this space. What's going on here, you guys? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Kids' toys are just ridiculous, aren't they? Oh, good. Are you excited? About dinner? Mm. Yes. Have you had a look at it yet? No. Do you even know what's going in there? Sweet potato. No. Chicken. Yes. Coconut milk. Yep. Our spice tailor packet. Which one? I don't know. Two of them. But I don't know which ones. This bloke. Oh, I like that one. That's a good, that's a good one. Maybe a bit short. Wow. Oh, I love the belt. Welcome to Queensland. It's cold. So you guys know how I was complaining about our awning. Just, it's just like a $200 XTM one. Well. The problem with it is it does this. Love it. Bloop. Funnest thing ever is like if someone's like sitting just right here and then you just go, hey, John. What's that? Gonna be scorching. I said yeah. they take me. Oh, that's here and then I'm running. It's really in. hot. <laughs> it's too hot to eat. <laughs> Is it? You don't look impressed. It's really good. No, it's it's perfect. <laughs> I just got a bit of spice. <laughs> well, I think it's great anyway. Hello. I thought there was only going to be two of you, but there's three. Hello. There was people patting them yesterday and they were just like loving a good head scratch. And now when I come over, they don't want a bar of me. Must be the morning. It takes a bit to warm up. Come on. Hello. This is the one I saw everyone patting yesterday. No? I think it's smarter than you. just want like a pat? Move. Move. Can you put your tongue in your nose, Pippa? Not quite. She's okay. I think this is. Can someone help me here? I'm off. I thought I was afraid of for the cows. There we go. must be So we left you a bit high and dry. I feel like we always do that. We're terrible at that. 
but we've just made it to Karanda, so I feel like we've made it a long way since we saw you guys. But we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Actually, I've been when I was younger. Jacob hasn't been around here, but my family are from Kent, so I've done a lot of exploring around here. We're gonna look at the markets and then go to Lady Baron Falls, and it has been raining like something chronic recently. So hopefully it's like pumping when we get there. And then maybe even go and see if we can see the train when it leaves Karanda as well, because it looks so cool. It's like a rainbow train and it goes over like all of these amazing mountains and waterfalls and stuff. So anyway, that'd be really cool as well. But we're just going to explore and be a tourist. Because we're good at that. Probably spend some money. Look at the little cowrie shell turtle. Look at that. Is it a bubbler? Is it a water fountain? Is it a drinking fountain? Drinking fountain? I love that. It's an amazing little town. I love Miranda. I was so excited when we were gonna come here today. Yeah, I feel like this is somewhere that I could probably like, not live, but maybe have like a holiday house. If we ever had no that kind of money. No way. <laughs> well, it's a I'm beautiful sorry, it's escape. beautiful, but I don't know that we would fit in that one. Yeah, probably not. Oh, well, we're going to Barron Falls now. Barron Falls. Barron Falls. <laughs> Baron Falls people. Here it is. The peak of human evolution. The train. Wow, what a spot to catch a train to, hey? Check this out. Train right behind me, and then you come over to here. Hi, everyone. I keep saying that we're heading towards <laughs> Cape York, but as of today, we actually are. Yes. We're in Babinda because my auntie and my uncle live in Babinda and it's the most beautiful place on the planet, honestly. It's like 10 minutes from Josephine Falls and then it's about 10 to the boulders as well. So we're at the boulders, we're gonna go for a swim and apparently we also need to go to the Babinda Butcher. Say that five times fast. Bavinda Butcher. I knew. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can you do it at home? Try now. Bavinda Butcher. <laughs> anyway, because apparently their streaky bacon won awards in 2021 and 2022. And then we're going to head maybe up to Cape Trib, I think. I think so. Yeah. Think that's where, that'll be sort of our first little stop. First little stop, because there's places that we can go to on the way back as well. But we've probably given ourselves about a month to go all the way up and all the way back. 
En dan moet je heel... So here's a tip for you when you come here to the Bibinda boulders. There's like a normal sort of swimming area that it guides you to and you know, that's where everyone swims and it's where everyone is. But if you come up this way, it's called the Goldfield Trail. Then there's another little swimming area, a lot less populated, probably not so good for kids, but it's a heaps better spot. So come up here if you come. swim in this beautiful paradise. We are now so mm -hmm. make sure you follow that little sign when you come up here because no one's here. No one's here. <laughs> and it's so here, good. That's it. Every, there was about a thousand people at the other place. You know what I told you guys that I would bring a snorkel whenever I came to anything and I didn't bring one. Do something beautiful and graceful. Don't do like 10 freestyle strokes like you're about to swim in the Olympics. But that's my habit. But it's aggressive. But I am. I'm an Olympic swimmer. You're not. Okay, let's go. Oh. Tell you what, there's a bloody. Oh. There's a current here. Yeah, there's a really strong current. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was fun. This is my home. Welcome to my crib. MTV Cribs. <laughs> Whoa, look at the hurricane. Look at this thing. It's pretty good. Isn't Look it? at the lift kit on it. I've never seen one of these vans before. It's high, isn't it? It looks good. It does look great. Right, how do I? How do you unlock the ca the car or the caravan? The car you use these keys. It smells new. It does smell new. The tires yeah. smell new. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh, the butch is closed. What do you mean? Yeah, it's closed. Didn't you tell them that we were coming? No, I didn't. I don't know why it's shut. Wonder what time it opens. It must only open. Oh, well, we'll have to come back another time. That's sad. Alright. It's supposed to be the best bacon on the East Coast. Too early. <laughs> oh well, there's lemons. See them? They look good. There's another fruit stall on the other side of Is the ferry. Yeah, I saw it on Wiki Camps. Mm -hmm. Not that we can trust Wiki Camps these days, but let's go across the Daintree River Ferry. Mm -hmm.
Well, this is a beautiful spot and there's... Welcome to our first stop at the Daintree. Probably the most beautiful spot I've ever been and there's pea platters hooning up and down the beach. So you must be able to camp on the beach or something. But, well, these guys are camping on the beach. Wow. Well, there you go. You're on both now. <laughs> Get on my jump. I know. I know. So we're just hopping back in the car from Cow Bay, which has to be probably one of the most beautiful places we've visited on this trip. But it was just rough. There were people literally drag racing at 8 a.m. on the beach. Yeah. And then we just saw two bikes, two like mini. Yeah, two dirt bikes, like two stroke dirt bikes, just like. Pooning just got... through the, the car, car park. park. No helmets, just. <laughs> Yeah, it's strange and just like, yeah, just the people that are around here just mm. you feel like, yeah, we're in like a real low socioeconomic area, but we're in like the most beautiful place I've ever been. We're just starting what they call the Bloomfield Trap. It's going to be so, fab. Yeah, lots of little creek crossings and apparently a heap of steep inclines. I saw a couple of people drop their tire pressures before they got here. It's probably not a bad idea just for comfort, to be honest, because it's bloody bumpy. So sorry for this quick intermission, but we just had to say we're not idiots. Well, maybe we are idiots because we just were looking back at the footage of us starting the Bloomfield track where they have that big red sign with all the stickers over it. And it actually says, turn around if you were towing, but we didn't know because it was literally covered in stickers and we didn't take a chance to read through the stickers. So that's why nobody was towing. <laughs> um, we're not stupid. Like either the council needs to get new signs so that people stop going through it or people like us are just going to keep going through it with their trailers. So I apologise. People are going to be like, you can't take your caravan along the Bloomfield track. And we'll be like, well, there was no sign that we could see. Anyway, we're off. Let's see how we go. Bloomfield track. You letting the tyres down? Yeah, because it's bloody bumpy and I'd rather not get bumpy. And I think it's dirt like the whole way up to Cooktown. Do you know that? I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> Successfully let the tyres down with the uh, quickie. No more camp boss tyre deflators. To be honest, I just can't find them. That's why I'm not using them. But for the tyre number guys, 25 in the front, 32, 35. That's the pair size. And this one right here, that's a zero PSI. We need to find a rubbish bin. Yeah, we do need to find a bin. That's bloody embarrassing. Well, Not for me. Look at this, we can barely even make it up this hill. And there's a Kia Carnival. <laughs> I actually think I need to use low range because this is not good on the car, I can tell you that. It's very steep. Yeah. I've got it in first in sport, but... Have you guys ever had these seaweed, roasted seaweeds? Because if you haven't, do yourself a favour. Oh, you got your GoPro too. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Same. <laughs> yeah, similar. Yeah, did you get one for your birthday, did yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, that's oh, for my cool. birthday. Uh, All right. Legend, are you going through the creek crossing? No, we're not um, mm. because we're, we're staying. It's funny because there's lots of non four wheel drive people here and they just are losing their shit, aren't they? Yeah. I'll breathe in. How are you going? Just breathing in for you. Oh. Ah, <laughs> because obviously we're not experts but the people back there were like even less more experts than us yeah definitely and they were like oh i'm nervous for you like i'm hold i'm <laughs> like i'm holding my breath i'm like oh thanks <laughs> they don't know what we're usually like do they <laughs> that's so funny river crossing number two just pulled over just to have a look at the van because it's just making so much noise it's been a while since we've been on like a real harsh dirt road like this with heaps of potholes and everything is just banging and clanging I actually it's probably that coconut there all this oh it's this <laughs> look at that the boats come loose <laughs> That's why it's making so much noise. It's just sliding around everywhere. That ain't going nowhere. I left the boat undone when I took the surfboard out. Well, that's good news. It's great news. We had, didn't lose the boat. Oh, you left me one. I left you one piece. One piece. You know what? Since being no, with Lily, that was hang being on. really generous. It, yeah, that's what I mean. Since being with Lily, I have an anxiety around food that once it's open, I can't not eat it anymore. Because if I don't eat it all, Lily eats it all. Thanks, Peter, for that. Yeah, that's, so... That's my dad's fault. So I just don't get any. So if, if there's a packet of chips open and I don't feel like it, it's you either... You bloody feel like yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> it's either you eat them or they're gone. Because she won't... Uh, I'll just eat half and leave half for Jacob for later when he feels like it. She'll just eat them all. So yeah, that's where my anxiety is coming from. This is the track that just keeps on giving. We're on one road right now. Oh my god, this is it. This is 20% grey. For lunch today, we have sandwiches. Boring, I know, but Lily does make a really good sandwich. Pickles, cheese, salami, tomato, and salad, and mayonnaise, and avocado. Someone asked me the other day what these chopping board and the knife block set are, and they're double-sided sticky tape on the back, but it comes with it and it hasn't fallen off literally this whole trip, but we use them every single day. We've used no other knives aside from those, have we? No. And they're both Joseph, Joseph. Is it Joseph and Joseph, or just Joseph? It's, it's just Joseph, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> they're the they're the bomb dot com. They're the best things on the planet. That way, we're using so much less space than if you were to have them in like a drawer or like a cupboard. 
the lettuce is probably overdue, but aside from that, that was pretty bloody good, doesn't it? Yeah, first bite. This is my sandwich joint. I'm just waiting for her to tell us how it is. It's really good. 31% is a bloody ridiculous gradient. That's insane. That'd be the steepest road I've driven up, I reckon. Like A 45 degree angle is like, cars can barely even get up a 45 degree angle. 30. We're about to tow a caravan up 33%. 31. Oh, 31. I think it was 31. Oh my god. This is the... Car needs a break. Are you gonna take it out alone now? Yeah. Well, we made it up though. <laughs> that was so steep. That was so intense. We had to really push then though. We were just saying we haven't seen anyone else towing. We've yeah. seen one person with a camper trailer. Yeah, like a small one. But where the I didn't realize it was. We also don't ever do enough planning. <laughs> but we didn't know that it wasn't really a thing to not tow here. Mm. Like, because we just always assume we can take the caravan anyway, <laughs> which yeah. we can. It's not like we have haven't been able to do so far, but no one else is. No, you can tell like towers, like they've got towing mirrors on and stuff. They've like that. got ridiculous tow bolts. And they've got they've got their thirty five pictures and something. We can see they're coming past. Like they're not towing their van. But maybe they have monster caravans as well. Because our caravan would be the smallest of... It's like a camper trailer size. It is. Who knows, it might get harder. We might be like, what? We might be like, shite, we've made a bad choice. Yeah. But so far we've made it up the 31 percenter. The 20... 23 or something? 3 percent. Beautiful drive though. Beautiful drive. Probably it's one of the best drives we've done. Ever. Before. Look at that, I mean, just everywhere you look. Yeah. It's just beautiful. And actually, what? you know what, I think there's someone behind us, and here's this. I'm gonna let them go past. See that? That's what a caravan should do. Talk about honking your own horn. That's etiquette. than the give. Harder for all driving. Yeah. Probably. I reckon. Have you guys got any good podcast recommendations? Look at these. 
genuine kangaroo leather. So sad, I hope it was roadkill. I don't think it was, <laughs> unfortunately. This is weird, this is like a circle. Yeah, this is like where the crocs, they... They come and they have their festival. They, no, they bring you in here to the death pit. No, this is where they have their party. Ah, yep, this is the club. Let's crock and roll. Alright, go. 